If you are interested in vertical farming, then you've come across hydroponic towers. The term hydroponic has become the buzzword for commercial growers and home gardeners alike. A hydroponic tower, also known as a vertical hydroponic system or a hydroponic garden tower, is a type of gardening system that allows plants to grow in a vertical arrangement, usually in a tower-like structure. In hydroponic systems, plants are grown in a nutrient-rich water solution rather than in soil. Hydroponic towers work by pumping nutrient-rich water to the top of the tower, where it cascades down over the plants, providing them with the necessary nutrients. The tower is designed with several planting pockets, which are arranged vertically, one on top of the other, allowing multiple plants to grow in a relatively small space. Hydroponic towers are popular among urban gardeners and those with limited outdoor space, as they allow for a significant amount of plant growth in a small footprint. Additionally, hydroponic towers can be used indoors, making them a great option for year-round growing. Some hydroponic towers are also designed to be self-watering, making them relatively low maintenance compared to traditional gardening methods. In this video, we will go over the basics of what a hydroponic tower is and what you need to know before adding one to your own home or business. Look at the advantages and how you can make one yourself. But firstly, thanks to all our Patreon supporters who make these videos possible. We have added a number of trend reports for all Patreon members. If you are interested in joining our community of trend watchers and getting your name at the end of all our videos, then check out our Patreon for more information. How does a hydroponic tower work? One of the most noteworthy aspects of a hydroponic tower is that it does not require soil to grow strong and bountiful plants. Although soil has been the medium where crops have grown for millennia, the soil is simply a way for plants to access nutrients. Hydroponic towers skip the use of soil by directly resorting to a water-soluble nutrient solution. The nutrient solution gets added to the water cycle for the plants to absorb and flourish from. Then by using gravity, the nutrient-dense solution is brought from the vertical level to the vertical level. The water starts at the highest level and with gravity is able to flow from top to bottom, reaching every plant in the process. Eventually, the water settles at the lowest level to be pumped back to the topmost plant, repeating the process. One of the many reasons why hydroponic towers are so sustainable is because they continuously reuse the water that flows through each watering cycle. Up to 90% of water can be saved by using a hydroponic tower or other similar method of hydroponics rather than traditional gardening, where water simply absorbs into the soil. Benefits of hydroponic towers there is a snowball effect of incredible advantages that are possible within a future where hydroponic towers are utilized on a large-scale basis. If the use of hydroponic towers is to be adopted by big agriculture, some of the most noteworthy and game-changing benefits consist of By growing upwards, farmers don't need to allocate as much land and increase their potential yield due to the extremely efficient use of space. The stacked level setup allows for optimized use of resources, especially water. Through this method, we are able to create a cycle of water that is reused and packed full of nutrients for the healthiest, most nutritious harvests. The ability to grow without soil also means they can set the hydroponic towers indoors, which allows for full control of the environment and the ability to produce vegetables all year round. The future of hydroponic towers. Concerns about the availability of land will lead to the mass adoption of hydroponic towers which take advantage of vertical space by stacking plants upwards rather than spreading them across hundreds of millions of acres. Hydroponic towers are incredibly beneficial on a smaller scale as well. Adding one to your outdoor garden or in a well-lit place within your home can bring many rewards and quite the learning experience. Their well-organized and aesthetically pleasing structures are great additions to homes because they are compact and easy to care for. What can you grow in a hydroponic tower? Many farms have already begun or fully adopted the hydroponic approach to growing food. Grocery stores have started stocking their shelves with hydroponically grown lettuces and herbs as well. InFarm, a Berlin-based startup, has partnered with a number of retailers to put modular farms in grocery shops that can grow their own herbs and salads. The most common crops grown in hydroponics are lettuce and other leafy greens like spinach and kale because they are low maintenance and grow incredibly fast. 
Tomatoes, cucumbers, strawberries, hot peppers and various herbs are also known for doing well in hydroponic systems. How do you make a hydroponic tower? There are six key things needed to have a successful at-home hydroponic tower. Light, air, water, nutrients, heat and space. Hydroponic towers can be placed either indoors or outdoors. Many homeowners are drawn towards an indoor setup if they live in a place with four seasons due to the fact that indoor growing allows for year-long production within a climate-controlled environment. Yet, whether you choose indoors or outdoors, plants will need five to six hours of light per day in addition to electrical access and an area that is protected from too much wind. Once you've checked off all the basic necessities above, it's time to begin assembling your hydroponic tower. There are many ways in which you can construct your own. Most people opt to use a variation of PVC pipes. It's quite simple to secure a PVC pipe upright, cut holes in it for the plants, and put an irrigation line in place. If you want to learn more about the vertical farm industry, be sure to check out our Vertical Farm Trend Report, or join our Patreon for access to all our resources.